Now let's talk about some of the Cricut's most exciting features. Each Cricut cartridge has its own set of creative feature keys. Customers can refer to the handbook of any particular cartridge for detailed instructions about the cartridge's creative features. The creative feature keys are on the left side of the keypad overlay. When a feature is selected, the key will be backlit in green. To turn off a feature key, press the feature key a second time. Or press the reset key. Or press a different feature key. Only one creative feature key can be selected for each cut. All font and shape cartridges contain the shadow feature, which creates a chunky version of the original font or shape. If I press the shadow key and enter the word cat, then I press cut. I can then press unload paper and remove the cuts from the cutting mat. Here we have cuts of the base image, and here we have cuts in the shadow feature. The shadow blackout feature is a solid version of the shadow feature. I put my paper back on the cutting mat, press load last, press the shadow blackout key, type the word cat, press cut, and then press the unload paper key when the Cricut machine is finished cutting. It's easy to see the differences between these cuts. This is only a tiny preview of what the Cricut machine can do. Now let's talk about some of the other advanced operations. The blade navigation buttons are arranged around the cut button. They allow you to move the blade up, down, left, or right to any desired place on your paper. Use the set paper size key when you are using paper that is smaller than 6 by 12. You will simply align the corner of the paper in the lower left corner of the cutting mat. Press load paper. Use the blade navigation buttons to align the blade with the upper right corner of the paper and then press the set paper size key. This will tell the Cricut machine where to begin cutting. You can then enter your project information. The paper saver key rearranges the letters you have selected to take up the least amount of space possible on your paper. This option stays activated unless you press it again or press reset all. If real dial size is selected, all letters, shapes, or phrases will be cut out according to the literal dial size rather than being cut out in proportion to the key height character. The Cricut machine can cut a wide variety of paper. For an optimal cut on lightweight paper such as vellum or heavy paper such as thick cardstock, you will need to adjust the blade depth. Locate the adjustment knob on the top of the cutting blade assembly and turn it to your desired setting from 1 to 6. The smaller the number, the shorter the blade depth. Shorter blade depths are recommended for lightweight papers and longer blade depths are recommended for heavyweight papers. Turning the adjustment knob to 1 pulls the blade up to keep it from tearing vellum or similar papers. Turning it all the way to 6 lengthens the blade and allows it to cut through thick paper like heavy cardstock. It might be a good idea to test the setting on a scrap piece of paper and make more adjustments if necessary. The speed dial also helps the Cricut machine adjust for optimal cuts on a wide range of papers. If you're cutting lightweight papers like vellum or if your cuts involve a lot of detail, you will want a slower cutting speed. The pressure dial is the third adjustment you can make to the Cricut machine to customize its cutting abilities. The pressure dial allows you to control how hard the cutting mechanism presses against the paper. For lighter papers, turn the dial down or counterclockwise to decrease the cutting pressure. For heavier papers, move the dial up or clockwise to increase the cutting pressure. The pressure dial, in addition to the blade depth and the speed dial adjustments, will prevent lightweight papers from tearing and ensure that thick papers are cut all the way through.